Hello, I'm Tony from Bonner's Music, and this is my quick guide to the Hammond CU1 Half Moon switch. So the CU1 is basically a switch which allows you to control the uh, speed of the uh, Leslie rotary speaker simulator that's built into most Hammond products nowadays. And if you have an external Leslie fitted like a 2101 or a 3300, this will control the speed of the external Leslie. Um, it's compatible with uh, most uh, Hammond Suzuki keyboards. So that includes the XK5, the XK3, SK2, SKX um, and the XK1C. So it's a very simple job to fit it to your organ. Um, I'm actually, I'll show you what you get in the box. Basically you get the CU1 controller and you get these two little pieces of wood, which depending on which model of keyboard you've got, it depends which one of these you're gonna to need to mount the uh, switch to your keyboard. Now in the box there is uh, there's a very simple set of instructions and it tells you here which one of these pieces of wood you need to fit, to fit on your keyboard. So what we need to do is have a look at the underside of the keyboard and locate the two holes that are underneath. Now I'm fitting this to the lower manual of an XK5, so it's an XLK5 that I'm fitting this to and the instructions tell me that I need the thinner piece of wood. So basically there's a little piece of sticky tape which you can put on to this, and then you just pop that onto the, onto the little bolts like that. So very simple. Then you locate the two holes underneath your keyboard and you screw it in. So as we look at the underside of the XK5 or the XLK5 in this case, these are the two holes that I can mount it to. There's actually three here, so you can choose whereabouts is located. So if you like it further to the left, just use these two holes or a little bit more central, use these two. So from there, I'm just going to find the two holes. I'm gonna choose those ones and then just use the thumb screws to screw it in. So once you've located the CU1 on the front of your instrument, you literally just have to plug the cable into either the CU1 socket, there's a dedicated CU1 socket on the XK5, or just plug it into the foot switch socket on the reverse of your instrument. Um, and then when you move the control across to tremolo, you'll see that the fast light lights up on your Leslie control on your instrument. Um, and you can obviously hear it's working as well. So. So Bonners stocks the CU1, we normally keep it in stock and you can either buy it online from our website or pop into one of our stores to collect one. Just give us a call first to make sure we've got it in stock in the location of your choice. So thanks very much for watching this very quick video and I'll see you in another one of my demonstration movies.